it is time for the Rivervale finale, the end of Rivervale. I'm happy, but also I like the fucking creepiness, honestly. I like the weirdness. It has kind of been kind of entertaining, I'm not even gonna lie. Especially that last episode was real good. I'm sad that there's gonna be the big break, but it'll be a good break and um, good things will come from it and we will get a good break from Riverdale so that way we don't feel like oversaturated with it. But I'm excited to see how, all it, ra how it all wraps up and um, to see how they tie it all together. Like, I still do not understand why they keep saying that like this is gonna impact real Riverdale. It doesn't make sense to me. And I am interested to see like how how they wrap that up without it being like, LOL, yay, and Rivervale, lived happily ever after. By the way, let's go back to Riverdale, you know. It has to mean something. They said it means something, so it must. Um, as you can tell, this is later than normal. I had a crazy day, just had a had a very busy day and um, trying to like make sure that I have time for loved ones uh, right now around the holidays and still getting my work done. So I wasn't able to watch this one live. I've watched all the rest of them live, but not this one, unfortunately. So yeah, let's, let's do this guys. I'm really excited. Just a reminder that if you want to see the uncut reactions to Riverdale, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon. There you can see the whole episode with me. So not just the edited version like you're seeing right now on YouTube. Um, it's the whole episode and you also get the whole episode to every other past episode of Riverdale as well as every show that I react to. So you're getting everything in one. If you're interested, definitely check it out. Otherwise, let's get in this episode, guys. Archie Andrews has somehow there just is. come back from the dead. Arch. Sorry I woke you, Betty. No, it's okay. You're alive? I killed you. The whole town was sacrificing you. That happened, bitch. You tried to murder me. You did murder me. Oh my god, the shoulder kiss, though. Did I get dragged to hell in it? Yeah. What are you doing in my room? I had the most <laughs> frightful dream, child. Oh, shit. What the hell? So, is this Riverdale? You have a sleepwalking. Oh, well, it's probably just nerves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're not more concerned than that, Tabitha? Well, it is your first day back at school teaching, isn't it? What? Oh, they're kids! Oh! <gasps> I was gonna say, that's what they wore in the first episode or something. Or one of the first episodes. Oh my god. Nah, dude, you're a student. <gasps> Aww. You're Ben Button? Of course I am. Who else would I be? Ben, ben Button? you died. You jumped out of a window when you sacrificed yourself to the gargoyle king. Oh my god, I forgot about that dude. Daytime hallucinations are a symptom of paranoid schizophrenia. Bitch, listen, if you don't... Have an awesome day. Have an awesome day, and don't forget, don't miss your psychiatrist appointment. You okay, bro? You look like you're about to pass out. Oh. Just bite at it. <gasps> Wedding. Who's getting married? Awkward. <laughs> Jug, Betty and I are getting married this weekend, and you're my best man. You know what? I freaking love that. I know this is not Riverdale, but, like, I love that even, like, with the past, he's still his best man in their wedding. Barchi is above all. I'm looking right at Jughead, who is very much alive. That's not possible. Look, if you're so upset about not being invited to my wedding, get over yourself. <laughs> Leave Curl alone. That bitch helps more than anything. Ew. How did he die? Asphyxiation. His. I love how Doc <laughs> Dr. Curl and he was strangled. Jug are like, the ones found? who are figuring this out. The lonely highway. Oh shit. He's figuring it out. So I'm guessing this is how they're tying it in. This is how we'll make sense of it. The Jughead Paradox. For that matter, how did I even have a doppelganger? Hoping to find sane answers to these It's not even just a doppelganger, it's literally read you. From the beginning. Here he is. I thought it was gonna show the logo and then like 
show the V like flickering into a D or something. I'll be honest with you, Jack. I didn't know you were that in the comics. It's kind of cute how they say, like Archie, I contain multitudes. are right in the comics as like what they actually look like in the show. So you think Riverdale is a parallel universe to River Vale? No. I, the explosion happens no, and then they go Riverdale into a different universe. a parallel universe to Riverdale. Do you remember that explosion, Archie? Huh? Not at all. That is so weird. That event is the one that ended the Riverdale comics. The next issue is when River Vale started. Or Arch, didn't you have a dream about an explosion like this one, or am I making that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that was just a, a dream, Chuck. But that's the thing. Everyone been having them dreams. My father died the night before my quinceanera. Oh, shit. I was so distraught we had to cancel the Jonas Brothers performance. <laughs> that's a massive discrepancy. Then who is our big bad? How come I look different? What do you mean? I oh mean, my god. I look like two different people. Look. Both uh. devastatingly handsome. But other than that, <laughs> that, that might be an anomaly. Oh shit. That's funny. Little Ross Butler nod right there. No, he's dead. You had a funeral for him. And then you talked to his corpse for months. <laughs> we don't talk about that. That is um the storyline of Cheryl that we do not remember. Bitch, is he finally gonna talk? Oh, hey, Jacob. I didn't know you were here. We heard the first words. Imagine he started talking and he had like a British accent and none of us knew. <laughs> My beloved and very much alive twin brother and I are off to play doubles. Toodles. And feel free to see yourself out. I love that it's Jughead figuring this all out. Maybe the in memoriam page is gonna be blank or something. I was right. Oh. Though Riverdale and Rivervale diverged in ways minor and major, they were analogous. Hey, babe. Miss me. What the fuck? His ass is really gonna show up after all this time. Also, he looks so different. Probably just because he's older. Can't even ask him because he's dead. Mr. Doily's alive. I guess all that works out. He can talk to the dead people because they're not actually dead in Rivervale. Ethel, what are you doing? That here? Ethel is my bitch. teaching assistant. Ethel can f off. It's as valid as any theory. But why do you think the events but that happen in Bang Riverdale are playing out differently? Here? A lot in, in bigger research, than a bomb. Parallel universes are exact copies or mirror images of one another. At any given moment, there are an infinite number of parallel universes in peaceful coexistence with one another. Just forget it, Jughead. Yeah, but live your life, dude. I'm not just gonna drop it. With a parallel universe, doesn't it get? Doesn't it like? have certain differences, like tiny differences, but I guess like in some cases they could be bigger differences that like make make it different, I guess, for lack of a better term. I thought that like it could be like, you know, in one universe, Jughead went down this path and in this universe, he went down that path. Like in one universe, Betty and Jughead are together and another one, Tabitha and Jughead are together, like that kind of thing. I thought that that was more so like what could happen. You're me. There's no you. Right? There is though. He was I mean, the based original. Based on Jughead's earlier visit, there are two parallel universes, and apparently, two Reggies. But I came first. And you left, bitch. You're both here now. I like that and they're married. Whatever else, it's cute. We obviously can't have the two of you running around town, freaking everybody the hell out. Well, it's not like they look like the same person. Oh shit! I can't believe he's back. That's so funny. That's such like a. Clever way to bring him back, though. Also, I'm uncomfy. This is stupid, but I keep... What? I keep imagining that somehow he'll show up for the wedding. He'll be standing next to us, smiling. It's not stupid, Arch. Oh my god, what the f***? Oh, are we for real Excellent. about to Thank witness you, Veggie, Veggie. I knew with I the other Reggie? You. That is so weird. Nobody has to know. Um, I'm sorry, what? I'm not used to sharing. Yeah, well, me neither. Bitch, you never had to. Veronica Lodge is more woman than either of you can handle alone. Bitch, shut up. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> I love Veronica, but like, what? <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? My brother <gasps> has been kidnapped by some lunatic calling himself the Black Hood. Jughead can be like, I know who it is. I mean, it seems like. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh shit! Bop, 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 bop. 
not Hiram Lodge, but Clifford Blossom. Hmm. It's almost like everything is going to end up the same in every universe, but like the way they get to that point is different. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're both grounded. What? No fair! You two need to work out whatever it is you need to work out in order to coexist. Or you're out of the Pembroke and out of my life. Girl, what? You don't even you don't even know Ross Butler's Reggie. I mean, she knows him, obviously, but like, ugh. To thank everyone for being here on this very special <gasps> occasion. <gasps> it's not every night the that Marcia mom gets to party. host the rehearsal dinner rehearsal. for oh, her daughter's look at wedding that. to the finest young gentlemen period now i think my i'm sorry Harold but like say a few words ew just Ugh. a few though and this one he's innocent <laughs> listen i've come to love barchi more but like let's be real for all of the years he has been with veronica how many times have you seen him smile like that because to be honest i can count like one <laughs> maybe two in their entire relationship and since he started dating Betty in the show, there's already been more than I could remember since the entirety of dating Veronica. And that's not, that's not supposed to be like a shot at them, I'm just saying. I knew it even before Tony said it. She's dead. Cheryl? Who's dead, Tony? Cheryl. <gasps> she was strangled. What the fuck? It was as if Riverdale's reality were trying to reassert itself on Rivervale, and innocent people like Cheryl were dying. No. How could I take Dilton's advice to do nothing? Wait a minute. People are dying. Yes. Isn't it glorious? What? Well, you know what's going on, don't you? That electricity yes. thing is happening whenever he's like about to figure some shit out. I'm sorry, Jughead, but I had to see what would happen if the universes remained conjoined. <laughs> Oh, guess you're not gonna live to see it, you stupid bitch. That's She's all. saved. I snuck poison into his grape juice. Why? Because he was willing to let everyone in two universes die just so he could study what happens when the twin verses implode. Wow. Do you know how to save these universes? Hell yeah, I don't. No. Of course I do, Jughead. Oh, okay. Reggie. Reggie's. Oh. Why are you touching Ross Butler like you give a shit about him? Uh, confluence of good and evil. Archie and Betty's love, Hiram's hate. There was creation, good. I was in the garage writing. And destruction, the explosion. There was science, Archie had this chunk of palladium on his desk. And magic, Cheryl's curse on the town. The fact that he listed Betty and Archie as the good, the good. The prime universe will stabilize and our universe will Cease to exist. You won't know. It'll be fine. You, me, all of us, our town, we're just... So... Aberrations. Out of curiosity, if she's saying that Rivervale never should have existed, this this universe never should have existed, and in that universe is where Sabrina is, will them doing this mean that Sabrina's universe will no longer exist? Or did Sabrina come from a different universe and hip hopped her way over to this one? I don't think so, right? Because if Sabrina was in this universe, that happened in this universe. Or did she? I don't remember what the situation was. But if that happened in Rivervale's universe, does that mean them destroying this River Rivervale and them all dying means where Sabrina's from is gone too? And that she's never gonna exist anymore? We have to recreate the circumstances as closely as possible. I mean, if not Betty and Archie, then maybe it could be... Me and Veronica. Why? <laughs> what are we if we're not counterparts to Archie and Betty? <clears throat> Ethel, you're brilliant. What are we if we're not counterparts to Betty and Archie? I'm sorry, give me a minute. Did he just say that? So, here is the definition of counterpart. A person or thing holding a position or performing a function that corresponds to that of another person or thing in another place. A person or thing holding a position. They were holding the position for Betty and Archie to be together. I mean, I'm sorry, what? Bughead was found dead in the ditch. Yo, they legit just said that they're... Betty and Archie's counterparts. Yo. 
It's a world where billions of people will die if we don't split the universes. Your Reggies are dead here anyway. Can we do it during the wedding? Because I'm not really in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> Same. You're just gonna not show Here's up to the to wedding? Bughead becoming canon. Bughead. Honestly, that's one relationship that I would be like, what the f***? <laughs> but who knows, maybe they would have, I mean, I will never be like, give us Bughead. But like, who knows, maybe they could have chemistry. When they kiss, they have like a little, little something. So it just would be weird. I feel like it would be really weird. And I think it's kind of corny when people, when it's like four people all together and then they just switch couples. It's kind of dumb. It's just where he beats what his ass. What are you ass. doing here? You They're know, like, when you didn't though? show up to my wedding, I knew you'd be doing something stupid. Know that Veronica's on her way here right now. No, Jug, she's <laughs> not. I killed her. Ronnie's dead. I killed her. I was joking. You killed Joe? Oh, <gasps> you dickhead. Can you Jughead? Cheryl and Ronnie, they'll be back. All the people we've lost. He's coming home. He has to. Oh. He would never miss my wedding, especially not to Betty. He loved Betty. Archie, how do you know all <laughs> this? The rules of this world. I saw everything. My dude, chill. You know, the dead coming back to life. The distortion. So maybe... It's not a copy or... or a I bet you the kiss with... They totally, I'm so sorry to the Bugheads, because I bet you that that kiss was because he wants to, to use him and Betty to separate it and have, like, when the bomb goes, goes off, he's going to use Betty because Veronica's dead. It's another chance for me to be with my dad. No, Archie. Archie. If we don't separate these universes, and soon, everyone's going to die. I'm sorry. God damn. <laughs> They really made it seem like, oh, Betty and Jughead kissed and are getting back together, and then that's why Archie's trying to kill Jughead. They're fighting. <laughs> Period, bitch. Oh, so did, that is why. What do we do now? We just wait? No, we need to recreate we the kiss. moments before the original we'll explosion kiss. as closely as possible. They misled the Buckhead fans, man. Well, we should probably stop the bomb. Betty, could you please disarm it? What? I, what? I don't know how to disarm a bomb. Yes, you do do it. Yes, you do. You went to the FBI Academy. You've actually done it before. From the second I walked through that door, I immediately felt at peace. Oh, my God. On the house, of course. Aw. <laughs> so I resurrected and I came right here. What is the other power source that's going to fuel Rivervale after it's separates? Just resurrected, like, no big deal. What's the opposite of destruction? Creation? Exactly. I mean, it's all in the comics. I'm now, so Jack confused. Now, is going to save Rivervale. It powers Rivervale by writing the stories that fuel the universe. So it so, doesn't have to keep leeching off of Riverdale. So they're like, what the f***? How do they connect that, though? So he's essentially going to write Rivervale as a story? You will have to be in complete isolation. What? If everyone is going to live, our family, our friends, this is why I became aware. Imagine it? this is the way that they write Because I'm both inside and outside of the story. In the end, the universe knew I'd be the only one capable of saving it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Soon you will forget all about Jughead's sacrifice for you and for us, and he will fade from memory. Hmm. So, but what does that have to, like, how does that work for the Riverdale Jughead? Is Riverdale Jughead just still in Riverdale? We got this. Same with me. Uh-huh. Same in the universes. <laughs> I see the thing is, is like I really do love when they work together. I love them. I just don't romantically really love them, honestly. Archie Andrews reanimated and resumed his mission to stop Jughead. I should have left a note, like, dude, hey, we got it figured out. No you're problem. you're still gonna be here. Whatever don't worry. Happens. Come on, bomb. Look, you can go. Speed it up a little bit. Never happened. I am 50 shades of confused. There you guys are. We were just about to send a search party. Seriously, what were you guys doing up there? Holy shit. Please. Don't remember. <laughs> remember. Don't mind him. He well, always turns sus. into a space cadet when he's working on a new novel. Well, come on, Ben. Your spaghetti's <laughs> gonna get cold. 
Betty's spaghetti. Jughead and Tabitha will start moving his belongings out of Archie's garage and into their new apartment. Aww. One question, though. Bethel's staying there with him? What happens in the Prime Riverdale universe? Oh my god, it's gonna go there. Okay, um, one thing. I love how he's writing Rivervale and he's writing about Jughead and Tabitha. I know that doesn't really even mean much, like, he's just continuing, but, like, he could write anything and continue it on, and he's writing about Jughead and Tabitha. Does Jug- does somebody, like, break in and take the bomb or something, or stop it, and it just und undoes it? Hello? Get out of that house, Betty. Who is this? Listen to me. There's a bomb under the bed. You have to go now. Right now. Go! Jesus, if someone called me saying that shit, well, I would be kind of scared. I would be scared that, like, they're trying to lure me out. Nobody wanted to warn him. Oh, it went back to Riverdale. <laughs> wow, that was wild. I kind of liked it, though. I really was so confused on how they were going to wrap this up, but it worked. All right, there we go. That was the Rivervale finale. This was good. I liked how they, I liked how it wrapped up. I honestly had no clue how this was going to wrap, wrap up, but, um, you know, we're seeing so many parallel universe things in, in shows and movies right now that it was, it was smart to kind of throw that in there. And it was interesting. I liked that it ended up being like a thing that Jug had solved and that it was these universes that were kind of co like combining together and, you know, things were getting screwed up because Jughead was showing up in a universe where there's another Jughead there and so on and so forth. And people were coming back to life and it was just a mess. And um, in the end, they find out that they need to, like, recreate this same situation over again to try to get them back on. But doing so would kill River Vale or just, like, cease to exist, you know. Which, in my opinion, I don't know why they were so against that because, like, they weren't supposed to exist anyway and it's not like they would know. <laughs> they found a loophole by kind of making it so... The timeline could exist if it was being created by something else and not just being from Riverdale. So Jughead kind of became the narrator storyteller of Rivervale. And I just love, I love that we find out that like he's the one who continues writing Tabitha and Jughead. Oh, well, and Betty and Archie. He's the one who, I cannot believe they put that line in here of saying like we're the counterparts of Betty and Jughead or of Betty and Archie. It's just like that is so telling. And I know like I honestly don't mind Bughead, but at this point in in the show, we saw them and have this romantic relationship for so long that it just became like not exciting anymore, not deep anymore. It didn't feel I didn't feel that from them anymore. And maybe it has to do with the fact that like they broke up in real life. So it's like just not there anymore or what, but I just, I haven't felt that spark. And, and Archie and Betty have something that's so new and so adorable that it's just like, it just can't compete. <laughs> I don't know, it just can't. And the fact that they put that line in about them being the counterparts, when the counterpart is literally like a position filler, you know, like we're the counterpart for them. Like they're the end game. We're the ones that's just in the way, you know, that's interesting. And it's, and it's. It was, a, it was a good ending, too, and to have it be that, like, all of a sudden the bomb didn't go off and they get downstairs and they don't remember what even happened and they're just reunited with their people. And Betty and Archie are together. And then Jughead and Tabitha are together. Are Toby and, uh, Toby, are Tony and Cheryl together? They definitely were, like, close to each other having a moment, so they might even be together. I don't know. But it really was a cool way to wrap it up and to make sense of it all. And because um, I was really like, there's literally no possible explanation as to how they're going to wrap this up and make it make sense. Because they kept saying like, oh, you know, what happens in this is it, it, it's that's it follows into Riverdale, follows into Riverdale. But then also like, I get why they said that. However, I don't necessarily agree that that's exactly true because it's not like this follows into Riverdale and they remember any of it. They don't remember anything that happened or that there's any change whatsoever. So it's not like it's going to affect present day Riverdale at all, you know, just that the fact that it's not merging with Rivervale anymore. So I honestly think that they could have worded that different or just not said anything at all to like clarify whether Rivervale was real or not, because they said like, you know, will this be, will this impact 
Riverdale itself and they're just like yeah whoa like it'll all play into Riverdale but like really no it won't it kind of just transitioned us back into Riverdale but none of them remember shit anyway you know Archie being the killer was also very shocking <laughs> and um intense uh it was really sad seeing his dad and I don't remember I don't know how they got those clips in there I don't remember that ever being like a real clip but I love when they find like ways to put him in there. It's just, it was really, really sweet and cute. And it is really sad that he wanted to be there because he wanted his dad to be alive again. And honestly, it kind of, I mean, I get they couldn't do this because they couldn't film with Fred, obviously, but it would have been cute if Arch, if um, Jughead like wrote his dad back into it, you know, for him or something like, you know, you see like the last part of that is like the doorbell rings and Archie walks to it and you only see Archie's face and he's like, dad, you know, like something like that. I think would have been sweet to end it on, but yeah, I'm excited. To, uh, the show doesn't come back until March, so it's going to be a while, but I'm excited to see like what happens from there. This was the hundredth episode as well. I thought it was really good. They brought back so many characters. I thought it was so funny that they brought back Ross Butler as the original Reggie. Yeah, just that was pretty funny. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was goofy. I liked the last episode a lot better because it was just like amazing, but this was still really good. And I, honestly, I've enjoyed it a lot. I've seen so many people just like ragging on it, but honestly, I talked about this on Twitter a little bit. It's, I feel like it's almost like popular now to be like, oh, Riverdale's so stupid. Riverdale. And like, I get it. I trust me, I get it. But like this season, season, season five, and this part, obviously, they've fully embraced the fact that like it's cheesy as hell. You know, there's always been like a little bit of a campy side to Riverdale from the very beginning, but it's like satire now in aspects. And I feel like them fully embracing it before they would say things like, but we're endgame, Archie, you know, like and it would be serious and it was cringy as hell. But like now when Veronica says these cringy ass lines, you know, it's just satire and they have fully embraced that. And I feel like since they fully embraced it, the show is more enjoyable as long as you understand that. And I feel like a lot of people who are just like, oh my God, and aliens and did it in Riverdale. It's like, okay, but there wasn't actually aliens in Riverdale. Like, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's stupid. F the aliens. But like, that's not even actually what happened. People are constantly, like, what is Riverdale doing? What is Riverdale doing? That's the fucking point of Riverdale. That's the point. Like that's that's what Riverdale does, and I don't I don't understand how people haven't realized that by now. <laughs> like the satire and the campiness is what Riverdale does, and it was never like I don't know why people are acting like it was ever this serious drama mystery show when it never was. Obviously, it's gotten way worse, but like it was never some like dumb mystery drama series. I think that it's just owning what it is now. And I saw this TikTok about like, oh, Riverdale, like, what are they even doing? They got witches and this and this and like, and I'm like, okay, first of all, this is a five episode event. And they even say that and they think like, oh, the five episode Riverdale, like, what are they even doing? It's like, how are you going to make a video and talking about this and not understand that this is not the same Riverdale that we watch every week? This is a special, just something interesting and fun to keep us busy while we wait for the next part of like the original storyline. Like, how are you gonna compare this and say like, what is Riverdale even doing anymore when that's like, not even, <laughs> it's, it might as well be a whole different show, you know? So I don't know, I just feel like people are so set on hating it that like, it makes it so they're not enjoying it at all. Because when I let go of the fact that Riverdale is just damn stupid and like campy and shit, and once it started taking itself less seriously, that's when I, enjoyed it again and I think that like a lot of people could learn to do that because it's completely changed the way that like it the seriousness of it and the way that it takes itself and I feel like that's just something that you kind of have to get used to and just like realize that it's it's changed you know and season five in my opinion was the best out of the past couple you know I think season one was really good season two was I and then season five, three and four were just not great at all. And then season five I thought was really good. I think once they aged, once they got them out of high school and stopped with all that cheesy shit and having these high school students do all this crazy shit, that's when it started being good because it always should have been when they were older, always. And I understand why it wasn't, but so many of the storylines just didn't make sense or were stupid and like just dumb. 
to have teenagers do. So I think that also added to it. And yeah, I just, I've been enjoying Riviera. I don't really care what people say about it because it is what it is. If you still don't like it, even if you understand all these things, you still don't like it, that's, you know, it's your opinion. It's just what you think. I just think that it's helped me to like come to a realization that Riviera has changed its tone. And I think understanding that has made me enjoy it. Um, but yeah, enjoyed this finale, this um, event finale. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun little like gift to have while we wait. This, this huge long wait for the next season. Really looking forward to it. Looking for more, looking forward to more Barchi. Looking forward to more Shonen. Oh my god, I'm just Jabatha, veggie. It's gonna be good. I think there's, there's a new like fresh feeling to the show now that the original couples have been like mixed up. So yeah, excited for the rest of season six. And I think that is pretty much it though. I will see you guys in the rest of season six. Thanks for watching.